Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 404-877-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All right, so before we get into that, I wanted to let everyone know that yesterday, Chris Cameron was released from his PTO, um, something that was not brought kind of to my attention. Um, but Adam Wilson had a three-game win streak. I turned it over here to John, as I need to find a way to wake up again. Me too. Anyways, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Laval Rocket. Shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshot Laval 13 to 11. In the second period, Laval outshot Milwaukee 21 to 7. In the third period, Laval outshot Milwaukee 14 to 4. And in total, Laval outshot Milwaukee 46 to 24. On the power play, Milwaukee went one for four with 13 minutes, five infractions, and Laval went one for four with 13 minutes, five infractions. All righty. So, starting in the first was John Leonard, Leonard uh, his 13th with an assist from Zach Sanford, his 12th, and Roland McEwen is his 12th. Then former Milwaukee Admiral Gabriel Bork scored his 12th with an assist from Riley McKay, his 4th, and Bragnett Gignock, his 20th. Then in the second, um, Anthony Angelo scores his 9th with an assist from Joachim Kemmel. Um, then in the third at the 9.05 mark, Joachim Kemmel scores his second of the year unassisted. And then at the 10 to 58 mark, Pierre Dubois scores his 10th with an assist from Xavier Simino, his 26th, and Peter Abandonado. His Abandonado. Abandonado. His and third. Uh, Pierre Dubois. Okay. Um, McCarran and McKay got into a good scrap. I I I want to do this this way, but I'm just gonna do it the opposite direction. So in net for the Laval Rockets again for back to back games is Caden Primo. Kevin Poulin is their backup. Names on this team that you may know. Anthony Richard. Gabriel Borg. Did Alard not play? Alard didn't play. All righty. Uh, three stars of the game were uh, Gabriel Bork, Bork, third star. Second star, Joachim Kemmel. A goal and assist. First star. Yaroslav Eskarov. This guy has been on a mission lately. I think after slumping for a while, stopping 44 of 46, um, he decided, nope, 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 no, no, no. We're, we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> mm. He goes, enough with the joking around and having fun. Let's get serious. Alrighty. So with that being said, what do you think of the run that the Admirals currently are on? I mean, I know it's only four it, games. But I know. It's good to see, though. We need to keep on this run with Manitoba, right. ahead of Manitoba and at pace with Texas. Right. And, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Texas because does Texas sleep on the wolves? We did. it. We got crushed. Right. 
Don't sleep on that Chicago team over there. They may be in last place, but uh, they've got a lot of firepower over there. I right. just don't think they put it together this year. <laughs> it happens. Yuck. But, I mean, now that we've gotten a solid look at Kemmel, thoughts? On what? Kemble. Um, I think he's pro very promising young star. He has the potential to be a star. Not at just this level. No. Not at just that shot, not at this level. Right. Not only at this level. I do think it's gonna take him a year or two. Um, he's gonna have to build body mass, he's gonna have to get speed. And he's going to have to not hover so much. Yeah. Certain little things that, I mean, hovering got him a couple goals, but, I mean, you're getting lucky at this point. People don't know what you're doing yet. Right. Your potential, protect, technically, you're out of position and, and it's bouncing to you, which is funny. Um, which is which is where, you know, we we have that whole thing going is, there's going to be more coming. And all the guys coming back, who gets the boot? Right. Who gets the boot out of the lineup? Everybody's playing well. Say Nashville gets, you know, calls tomorrow and says, hey, everybody's healthy. What are we going to do? Kick Fowl, Fowl Haber and A-Pop out of the lineup? I like Bell Aver, but I don't think he's you know, Bouchard played tonight. Who is out? Let's see. Go Stancy. Uh, the is out. Stancy is given to the four, five, six. Who is out? Thompson. Huh. Thompson was not in the lineup today. All right, your attendance at Place Bell. Yes, I understand. To Americans, Place Bell makes no sense because it should be Bell Place. Well, French speaking Canada speaks says otherwise. Um, no offense to them at all. Um, and it is proper placement of uh, uh, on the wording for the French language. Much like the L H and I think it is called or L N H, one of the two that is on the front of their jerseys and Montreal's. Or no, it's on the front of Montreal's jersey. Um in the last five seasons, the Admirals have actually beat Laval twice. Um, yeah. you know, uh are you surprised by the outcome of tonight at all? I uh, no. Um and, and I feel like we've been on a roll lately. Yeah, and they're not and Yarrow's not messing around. I think Cooley does get the start tomorrow. Yeah. Um Bellevue got so let's take a look at this because the other part of this is well, who do we play tomorrow? And that is Bellevue. Bellevue to what I know. Was playing. I don't know if that game's final. It is. Bridgeport beats them five to two. So their goalie is Kevin Mandelays and Anthony Anthony Bebo. Um, players to watch for this game. For the Bellevue Senators, Agar Sokolov, 51 points, 18 goals, 33 assists. Jake Lucci, 16 goals, 31 assists. August Crookshank, 23 goals, 16 assists, 39 points. Cole Kessel, uh, 7 goals, 20, 32 assists, 39 points. Cole Reinhardt, 10 goals, 23 assists, 33 points.
Looks like a lot of firepower over there. Yeah. Current moment, Iowa is beating Grand Rapids 3 to 2. Manitoba is beating Rockford 6 to 2. Calgary is beating San Diego 3 0. Uh, Lehigh Valley and Henderson are, or not Lehigh Valley, Coachella Valley, sorry, Coachella Valley and Henderson are tied at one apiece in the first. Um, Abbotsford and um, Ontario are tied at nothing. Cleveland beats Toronto 3 to 2 in overtime. Hartford beats Springfield five to six to five. Um, Utica beats uh, Syracuse four to three. Rochester beats Hershey four to three in the shootout. Tomorrow, Grand Rapids will play Iowa again. This is just our division. We play Bellevue. Texas plays Chicago. And Manitoba plays Laval. So, hey, guys, we may have beat you today. Can y'all win tomorrow? And on Tuesday? Um, as of Tuesday, we are getting, or as of Saturday, we are getting a five-day break in the AHL, our final one of the season. Um, do you think that this break is key for us? Do you think that that it helps or hurts with the role we're on? With the role we're on, I think it hurts. Do you think it'll be good? Do you think they come home or they go to Grand Rapids for the week? Um, because you're leaving Bellevue, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. With the way of playing Sunday and the building doing probably high school graduations and stuff coming up. I mean, we're getting close to that time of year where you got college graduations and all kinds of stuff going on. Right. Um. Do you think that that you know, I, I, I'd i say that they probably do just a little bit of rest. You can practice a little more. Where they will practice, I have no clue. Right. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I, all in all, winning four straight, six and four in our last ten, And we're second best in our last 10 in our division. Uh, the first best is Iowa, who is seven and three. Yeah. We have 10 games left. What's the biggest part going now? What's our magic number? Wait, Hartford had to lose a regulation? Okay. Uh, clinching scenarios. Um... Abbotsford can clinch today with a point versus Ontario. Um, what's our number at? It looks like our number is at six. To get in. Six, for, four for Texas, six, four for us at this point now. And with the most, it'll be six. Uh, divisionally, it's like 23 points, which is weird. 
I think it's going to come down to the last game. I really do. Yeah. Um, um, I know that we'll get time off because if we're, no matter what, um, I think that the Wolves are eliminated, I think, from playoff contention. I believe. Um, I also believe so it well, they're not. I mean, you could make up eleven points and or well, they need they have twelve games left. They're gonna play two of them this weekend. Do you think that the Wolves could climb out of that hole or Grand Rapids? Um, Wolves, probably not so likely. Grand Rapids, maybe. It's it's very it's gonna be very interesting. Because looking at the goal differential, the Admirals are plus 27, just so that anyone wanted to know. And we've scored 200 goals this season. May not seem like a whole lot. Texas has scored 227. But there is a small chance out of a weird note, we will definitely be keeping an eye on the clinching situations. There will be an update. If the playoffs started today, we would play Manitoba. We would be the home seed. We would have time off for, I believe it to be a best of three series versus Rockford and Iowa. Um, Rochester and Bellevue will battle that one out. Charlotte and Bridgeport, Springfield and Lehigh Valley will battle out for their um, playoff spot. Um, in the West, it's goofy and all that because Tucson can get in and they're seventh in the division. Um, They will play Coachella. Everyone from the first seed, everyone but the first seed gets a bye. That's, to me, it's, that's bad. That's, no. This needs to be even. You have the four and the five seed play to make that last spot. That's all you need to do. You don't need to have the three, four, five, and six seed fight for playoff spots. I I just think that at that point, what the Pacific is doing is making the West, basically their season is worthless. Because they say Tucson beats Coachella because... Say the Kraken makes the, well the Kraken are gonna get in, I think. But say the Kraken make the playoffs. They're not gonna have a whole lot of help coming back. Arizona ain't making it. Tucson will. Much like us. If the Preds don't make it, which I'm gonna I know we missed yesterday's game versus the Kraken, so what we're going to do here is we're going to just give you a little update on that, too. Um, we are five points out of a playoff spot with let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12 games left.
So there's that. There's 12 games left and five points. May I also add that we have six points left hanging. And who do we play this weekend? Who do we play tomorrow? It's tomorrow's game is against the Kraken. Then we play the Leafs, Bruins, Penguins, Blues, Stars, Knights, Hurricanes, Jets, Flames, Wild, and Avalanche. The Flames are going to want the two points against us. Winnipeg is going to want the two points against us. Um, do you think the young crew there in Nashville's got what it takes? I think it's going to be close. It's going to be fun. Yes, yeah, close, but... It's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Because if they don't make it, then we're not, which is what we're expecting, then we're okay with it. If they make it, then crap. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Got to do what we got to do. It'll be interesting because we'll be sitting at the two spot, and the two spot would play Vegas. Yee. Most likely Vegas. So with that being said, let's Let's get this wrapped up. So, John, do you think the Preds make it? Is it gonna? It's gonna be close. We know that. Do you think they make it though? No. Traded too late. Possibly. Or did they trade too soon? Ah. <laughs> mm. Um. On the other part, um. Well, if they do make it, how much do you think it affects us? Um, I I think it'll bring significant impact to the Admirals if the Predators make it. But then again, we've been finding ways to win, and everybody's been stepping up doing their part. So who's to say? Also, who's to say more reinforcements don't come in to kind of and step into their role right away and make an impact, like Parson. Right. No, there's never to, a moment to say that that can't happen. There's a moment to say that it can. Right. And with, uh, what is it, the Memorial Cup not till, like, May? I wouldn't be surprised to see them sign send guys here. Right. You're gonna want to keep them in, you know, full swing, and that that's not gonna, you know, the Memorial Cup's not gonna really matter at that point. For them, it's what what's more important: the Memorial Cup and winning a junior championship or getting AHL playoff experience. All right. That's where that comes in. At a young age, it is so crucial to get that playoff experience because it's a grit, it's a grind. We're ready to go. Um, trust me, I'm feeling it, but we'll we'll get there. Um, beyond that, what's your what what do you think is is uh, basis right now for for Nashville. Do you think that it's going to be a rebuild? Do you think they're just going to come out and be competitive? Um, I still think it's going to be a rebuild. I think 
the time is now and it's needed. Yeah. Mm hmm Um, beyond that, um, Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We will see and girls <laughs> um, for watching. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, our show, whether it's live, is depending on how the roads are. Right. And that recurs to both shows. We have a lot. And by a lot, meaning you may not see us Sunday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because there's so much that we're going to be doing that we may want to take that day. All right. Well, as Sunday, we're trying to do the play. Fine. Okay. I can get away with that. Um, all righty, so thank you guys.